This chapter will focus on adding hoverover interactivity to your performance dashboard. Prior to the starting this tutorial, it is important to note that the business metrics must be defined appropriately for hoverover. If you're not sure, speak to the person who created the business metric. It is highly recommended to watch the tutorial, adding drill down to performance dashboard and adding parameters to a performance dashboard. For this tutorial, we'll be using the KPIs and datasets from our Synatica 2010 sample project. Hoverovers are generally used to show a preview of a drill down or to show more information when you've run out of real estate on your dashboard. Typically, a person moves their mouse over a data point and a dialog will appear with more information. This will become more clear when we've implemented the hoverover. Before we can start implementing, we have to understand what kind of hoverover we want to do on a business metric. In our case, we are showing yearly revenue versus expenses over time. It would be useful to hover over on a particular year so we can see a dashboard that shows profit and loss business metrics. In our case, we're going to keep the hover over simple and show a preview of the expense breakdown and the revenue breakdown for a particular year. For this tutorial, we're going to reuse the executive summary dashboard recreated in tutorial 4.1.6. To set up a hoverover, we need to open the Business Metrics context menu by doing the following. We then select the Setup Hoverover menu item. This will bring up the Hoverover Setup wizard. There are three types of hoverovers you can choose from. We want to choose the second one, but I will touch on the other two. Choosing the first option will allow you to show this dashboard. This is useful when we want to see a more granular level of grouping. In our case, if we wanted to, we could have had our chart show the month trend of that year. In addition, you can show a web address by selecting the third option. We can choose the type of mouse cursor we want to show when a dashboard viewer puts their mouse over a particular data point that shows a hover over. For most cases, we would use a hand, so let's choose that. Now we need to specify the size of the pop-up. A good rule of thumb is to set the values to correspond with the width and the height of the dashboard you will be showing. Because we are just showing a preview, we're just going to leave the setting as is. Let's move on by clicking Next. The list of available dashboards will be shown here. In our case, we want to choose the following dashboard. Let's move on by clicking Next. Now we need to pass the values associated with this hover over. In our case, it would be the x-axis values or, in layman's terms, the year of the business metric. We need to first add a parameter like so. Notice how the filter from the other dashboard shows up on the target parameter. We need to choose the appropriate input source to feed it. In our case, that's this value. In short, this input value contains the business metrics year. Finally, let's click on finish to close the wizard. Let's preview the dashboard to see what we've accomplished. Notice how the revenue and expense details for a particular year is shown when you put your mouse over that year. This concludes our tutorial on how to implement a hoverover.